Pride is nearing the end of the first day of its radiothon. The station is trying to raise money for instruments and music education at local schools. And News Channel 3's Elise Martinez spent the day in the studio with Lynn Elvishan and Bill Peso. And she joins us live with more on that. Hi, Elise. Beth and CJ, I'm just outside the K-Tide studio where hosts Bill and Lynn are live on the radio right now. And they've been live since 6 o'clock this morning and they're asking you to donate instruments and money for local music programs. And today they brought in some famous friends to help them spread the word. Rock me, Steppenwolf, 99.9, Santa Barbara's K-Tide. It's Keep the Beat. It's a radio call to Santa Barbara school kids. K-Tide radio hosts Lynn and Bill are on the air for a good cause, and they brought in some famous friends to help them out. I have pictures, memories to hold. Glenn Phillips of Toad the Wet Sprocket performed the hit Walk on the Ocean live in the K-Tide studio. It's all part of K-Tide's Radio-a-thon to benefit the Santa Barbara Education Foundation's Keep the Beat program which helps keep music alive in Santa Barbara schools. And we encourage people to clean out their closets and give those instruments that have been collecting dust in their attic or in their garage or under their bed, give them a new life. What would you give? What would you give? Dishwalla also dropped by the studio to perform and lend support. I, the first time I picked up an instrument was in school. Uh -huh. It was fifth grade, they hand you the recorder. Right. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then you learn Mary Had a Little Lamb. Yes. And these students at Franklin Elementary School are actually practicing Mary Had a Little Lamb on the violin. The money raised and instruments donated would benefit music classrooms like this one. And fourth grader Sophia Marua can't imagine school without it. It feels like I'm in a different world, and it feels like I'm surrounded by people that are inspiring. And this radio-a-thon continues tomorrow at 6 a.m. until 7 p.m., but the host will be going live at the Creekside Bar and Restaurant in Santa Barbara, and you can drop by and drop off an instrument or some cash. You can also catch some performances by some local students. Again, that's tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. You can also call K-Tide and donate. Live just outside the K-Tide studios, Elise Martinez, News Channel 3. Such a great story, it's a great is, program, yes. and a great one for two personal yeah. little uh, concerts for Elise there. That was great. I nice. think so. She had a great time, and uh, wow, seeing Toad the Wet Sprock and the Dishwalla, yeah. some of our Santa Barbara musicians yeah. that I know I grew up with and a lot of folks did. Really excited to see them and see their contributions back to society, especially after such a tough year. Yeah. Having the arts in the school, I think, makes such a big difference That's for these right. kids. See all those kids holding little violin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish I would have learned violin as a kid. Yeah, it's not too late, Alan. Mm -hmm. Big kid. I've had a clarinet. I have a big kid. <laughs> right. So the 